Hi guys, welcome to Creative Chess channel, Chess on the Floor time. Today I'm going to show you the game between uh, Robert Fischer and Samuel Ruszewski played in the US Championship in 1956. This game became very famous and it's one of the best traps ever. So the trap was in Accelerated Dragon, Samuel played c5 and uh, Fischer played knight f3, knight c6, d5, capture, capture and uh, g6 without d6 so if uh, we play d6 and all this but uh, it can be transferred that it's accelerated dragon or uh, common dragon just classical dragon so let's see three uh, bishop to g7 attacking our bishop so protect and yes that's accelerated dragon because d6 hasn't been played uh, now you know, white's move and white plays uh, bishop to c4 and black castles. And white plays just bishop to b3. So it was a normal position. Now for black maybe it was okay to play just d6. Uh, but uh, black had a, quite an interesting idea. Why not to attack the white uh, bishop and then... Uh, if we capture it, uh, white captures and uh, uh, black would have uh, the pair of bishops and it's super cool. But, so Robert Fischer reacted immediately. He played e5, attacking the knight. Let's have a look. Uh, the knight uh, doesn't have any, doesn't have a lot of squares, yes, to retreat. All these squares, d5, e4, um, g4, they're impossible. Uh, this move is also bad because of guys. What move? Yeah, just because of g4 and uh, you can't save your knight. So that's why. Oh, yeah. And by the way, if he captures the knight, we would capture his knight, then the bishop. Uh, and uh, actually, white's position would be better. So that's why black decided to uh, go to e8. Probably it may seem to us that's nothing wrong with black's position, but now white is already winning, guys. Can you please find the best move for white? What would you do in such position? And can you find the move which was played by Robert Fisher? Yeah, guys, it was super cool move. Bishop to f7. So what is the idea? First of all, if we play with the rook, uh, black can just uh, go to e6 and we win the queen because now uh, white knight is attacking the queen so if black takes you see here is uh, the pin pawn so actually we can't take the knight and uh, black queen has no ways to retreat so that's why in the game uh, so after after moves uh, bishop to f7 black took with the king so if white don't react right now so then the king would come back and everything would be fine but here is again the same move knight to e6 again the same story that black pawn can't take but the king can take now and in this case we attack just attack the king uh, we go uh, queen to d5. Actually, I can say, guys, that uh, in the game, in the game, uh, black preferred uh, because they counted, calculated everything correctly. They just took the knight and played without their queen. So, and the game uh, was proceeding for uh, 30 moves more, and we are not going to watch all these 30 moves because it's not interesting now. Black is playing without the queen, so nothing interesting. We just uh, better have a look at the variation connected uh, with the taking of the knight on e6. If black had taken the knight on e6, then there would be a very interesting checkmate. Guys, again, so can you please find the checkmate uh, while it is moving and winning? Yeah, so the checkmate is this one. So first we attack the king. So the king uh, can move, for example, to f5. 
it's actually the only move g4 again so black has the only move queen goes to e4 and if for example white uh, black goes here we may just play rook to g1 we want to play this move and uh, if for example black goes like that we may just uh, take the pawn and check mate yeah guys that was a trap which is really really very famous it's uh, one of the best traps i have ever seen in my life so guys i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my channel see you in my next videos and bye bye